All right, it's your boy, Top Dog 93 aka Superior Tech, back with a brand new game. Name of the game is Ocean Horn. All right, let's get into it. Ocean Horn. I hear its horrible sound echoing from the sea. It is coming for me again. This is all happening sooner than I thought, and I am forced to act. Whatever happens next, I'm not going to lose you like I lost your mother. This necklace is the last thing left of her. Keep it close and guard it well. I will give you my old notebook from my travels. It will guide your way to an island of a friend. He will help you to prepare for what is coming. I know I'm asking too much of you. This is the only way. Alright, so I noticed that when I download the game, this is kind of a small game. I think it's on like 100 or maybe 200 megabytes. For the graphics that I'm actually seeing right here, I was actually expecting like probably like a gig, maybe two gigs, maybe. Alright, so I'm right here at the main part of when you start the game up. Hermit's Island, Sons of Cliffs. Slide your finger to move. Alright, let me see. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I like to move around. You use your finger. Look at the water, man. Look at the grab. This game is a solid. This game already, before I even go in detail, this is a must to play. Whether you play Zelda or you play any like Mario and 64 game, any adventure game, you're walking around. This game already is a win in my eyes, man. Let me, let me play a little more. Let me play a little bit. Let me play. Yeah, you can pick up the little pots on here. This is like it's pay homage to the Harvest of the Moon. Uh, what else? Zelda again, I'm saying. It's a whole real cool game, man. You play the um, Golden Sun series. They can do that too. I'm trying to figure out how you throw it. And instead of like other games out there which just really copy other games, like they got this fake Pokemon game out that's in the app store. And whoa, ugh, it came out a little bit. And that Pokemon game is like so bootleg and so redundant, it doesn't even make sense. I hate that game. Alright, so I can't swim man. That's one of my things. So I hate games when you can't swim. Oh oh! Spoke too soon. You can swim. Good job, developers. Good job. This is a sign. Mini map may reveal secrets. Alright, okay, whatever. What's going on? Hermit's hut. Look at that. I mean, this game looks beautiful, man. On the iPhone. Or on your iPad. It probably looks even better. I'm gonna go across this bridge. I honestly can say that I can see myself actually playing this game for a while and actually be involved in it, depending on how the storyline like, unfolds on it, man. Alright, so I guess this is a main interest, like for most of these games. And you gotta figure out how to unlock it. They said I need to match the key. So I'm gonna try to go over to his chest thing. Can't stop saying like how beautiful the game is, man. The game looks nice. It's not boring. All right, where up? Let's go. Let's see, let me go over here. Let's go across the bridge, making my way downtown, walking fast. All right, let me see. What's this? This is checkpoint from what's this arcade in air. You will magically spawn next to it. If something bad happens to you, checkpoints can be found all over the world. Remember to activate them wherever you see one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, so that's a checkpoint, man. Already, just in case if I die, I go right there. Look, look at the water, man. Look at the graphics on here. All right, there's an enemy up here that's red dot. It's to throw objects while carrying it. Sure. It's not many games, man. I can honestly say that I actually really enjoy playing them or even trying them out. Or actually keeping my eye device. 
This is one I'm actually gonna play for a minute or two, man. Coffee, man. Got this cane, man. It's Billy Club, boy. All right, how you climb up there? All right, so I guess I can climb up there. Let's see. Got to figure out how to get up there. Let me break this. We got the music on here, man. This game is fun, man. This game just looks it's really good. It's creative. Imaginative. Stunning. All right, let me get into the controls on here anyway. All right, so like the beginning, they said you can use like your thumb, your finger, or whatever on the screen, and you actually can put your um your thumb or finger, wherever you want to do, anywhere on the screen on the left side and move your character. The controls are perfect. So whether you have like little skinny little fingers or if you have fat fingers like Fire Album. Like anybody can play. As for hitting, it's really simple. It's like a little Sonic the Hedgehog type button going on. You got one button. It does everything for you. Keep it simple, man. That's the way to go. Let me see. Let me go with this. Get him off me, man. I did find myself trying to rotate the screen for a second. I was like, hey. Try to get somewhere on here, man. I need to find something. I need to get to that case, but I don't know how to jump with that. Hmm. Let's see. Find a pier. Alright, this is a somewhere to you. Cool. Do -do -do -do. What's this? Coin hearts and other items are. Coin hearts and other items are hidden all over the world. Alright, okay. That's cool to know. Knock, knock. I probably need a key for that too. See what's up here. Let's make the journey. Break all that. End this. Alright, let's see. What's up here. Hmm. Uh oh, what's that? Push objects. For action. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're on the other side. Hmm, let's see. It's just right here. My budget. Oh, I am real slow in here. <laughs> I just noticed this thing over here, man. Uh oh. Alright. Sorry about that, people out there. I ain't even see it, man. Alright, let's go. Let's go in there. Get this chest. Give me a sword. Give me a mighty sword. What's in here? Alright, key. Alright, let's see where can this key go. I remember I saw a door somewhere on here. Let me see. No, I don't want that. Where's the door? I think the door's up here. Let's see. Aha! The key. Alright, where are we going now? Let's see. Alright, it's another button. And then I can press. I see now I could I guess I just stand on it. Hmm, that was easy enough. All right, let's go. Let's go up here. I gotta break this. All right, this is like this was dead end. Oh, no, no. Okay, I go up here. That's cool. Uh oh, careful now. Careful. Bust it up on your steed. Was that a bat? Dang, I hit the bat in the head? You got a little achievements on here, man. The game just gets better. Hmm, it's down here. Let's see. Uh, I didn't catch that. There is a reset button. Oh, this is a reset button. That magically, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, so this is one of those more advanced Tomb Raider type puzzles going on. All right, let's 
this one. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm just a bling up there, man. Alright, so they didn't do nothing. I can figure this out. Let's go back up here. You can pick many kinds. You can pick many kinds of things. Let's see. Is this a reset button? Alright, so I'm going to go to the left. What's this? Let's go to the left side first. I didn't seem to do anything. Go to the right. Huh. Give me here. Ah, okay. I have fire. Hey. You know what? Stop the back. I wasn't gonna try to do that, man. I'm trying to let you fly, do your little bat stuff, man. There we go. Ha ha, I'm getting closer. Do, 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 do. Closer, closer. Ha ha! Victory! Alright, let's go up here. Get this bling bling necklace. You got back your mother's necklace. It seems like it's no ordinary pendant. Do I have it or is it floating? Okay, there we go. Come on, sword! Sword! I knew it! One of the greatest moments in time. Greatest moments ever! You found your father's sword and shield! Alright, let's go! Yeah! No one can stop me now! Alright, let's go! I don't know. I'll be real tedious to like and destroying all these plants in sight, but I think I actually should. Hey, can I destroy that little plant back there? Let me see. Oh, slipping. Gotta go up here. It's cool. Is that like a death trap? Right. Climb up the ladder. Look at that. They showed the detail in him putting the shit on his back, putting the swore back there. That's tight, man. That's nice. Really nice. I actually needed that. Oh well. This is like tap mini map to access items. Excuse me, man. I don't know why I have some gas. It's that copper. I want some gold. Actually, I guess that was my main issue right there to get over here. This is it right here. Let me see. Okay. Oh, Zelda, you can hold the sword with that cool spin. I wanted to be out here. Uh oh. <laughs> what are you doing on my head, too? That's crazy. Come here! Woo! Don't mess with me, boy. Don't mess with me. Alright, let's see where else to go. Where else to go? Let's see. I know this man. Right. I leveled up. Let's click on that. You are a traveler. You got your health refilled in 10 coins. Let go verse 25. That pocket money, boy. Give me that junk, man. Oh, who we met somebody. Here you go, checkpoint. Who's this, Grandpa? I got your sword, Grandpa. Got your. Oh, hold on. This is Father. All right. You found your father's sword and shield. How did you get your hands on them? You were supposed to have them later. What is this? What? Your mother's necklace started to glow. How can I be so stupid? That is one of the symbols of the ancient Arcadia. Follow me, I have a story to tell you. I gotta do my voice better on A right long here. time ago, these islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. The age of enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Engineering and magic ran deep in their blood. A foul war began as Dark Lord Mesmoroth, who had once been a promising candidate for an Archmage, led dire folk armies to a war against Arcadia. 
the aid of his dark magic and the direfolk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground and brought to daylight something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. Triloth, a mass of dark energy left over from the creation of the world. Black boats arrived to the gates of Arcadia, the game is done right carrying now. the it's dark right. energy the Triloth. Right. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of men faded. The once flourishing society disappeared into the darkness. After the catastrophe, three sea monsters appeared. One of them was Alright Pops, I'm about to skip this man. I got the idea, some kind of crazy monster and all that. Come on, skip! There we go. Under the dark. Oh no, no, dark. I said shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Graphics are nice, man. Look at this trick. <laughs> you need a master key. Hey, where the master key at? Be strong. Let me see. I know in these you always have to still talk to the people. Go to your lookout now, kid. But come back to me in the morning. Okay. Cool. They got the special effect, man. They took the time. Back in Suns and Cliffs. Feel for the old lady who put these pots out every day. Because I just come along. Just toss them. Ooh, it's a gold coin over there. Want a coin? I got it. What's this? This is a checkpoint from. Okay, yeah. I'm going to checkpoint. There's some red over here. What is this? Alright, what's this? We gotta keep this. Master key. Loving these controls, man. The controls are fun. Now, so far, I don't think I noticed maybe that could be a problem, but if you play these type of games, you're used to that. That's the, I guess, repetitiveness of killing the same monsters over and over again. Some people just farm them and join stuff. Hey, don't you run for me. Two for one, boy. But why can't I, like, slash them? Alright, what's up here? See what's up here. Okay, why did I get up in this close to this room? Alright, come on. Easy. There we go. And this is where I sleep at. Alright, so I'm going to end this video right here. This is Ocean Horn. Go ahead, check it out in the App Store, man, and get it, man. Tell me how far you made it in the game. Game is worth it. I'm telling you, this is probably five out of five stars. Perfect game so far. I'm liking it. Simple. Zelda. Easy. All right. Until next time.